So let's say you're new to 3D, new to art, new to creating things in general. One of the first things you need to do is collect reference. So let's say you're making a P90, one of my all time favorite weapons. It's a dream gun. You go out to Google, you start searching for different P90s, different pieces of this. And the very first thing that you should do, go out to Pure Ref. If you already know and use Pure Ref, stop the video. You don't need this. If you've never heard of Pure Ref or if you don't use Pure Ref, keep on watching. So go to pureref.com, go to download. We're going to pick personal, pick your platform, select a custom amount, changes to zero, unless you'd like to give a tip. As soon as you press enter, the price is going to change to free. Press download, run, install, all that fun stuff. This is what you get. Oh, you get this little window and you're going to right click and drag to move this around. But as soon as I click out of this, it goes behind like a normal window would. But we don't want that to happen. Uh, in particular, when we're working in Maya, we would like pure ref to stay open. I only need one of these. And then we want to be able to work in Maya and then for it to hover right here or on our other monitor, so right click inside of pure ref, go down to mode, always on top. That just means I can place this where I want and continue working inside of Maya. Next up, let's go back out to the interwebs. We can left click and drag our images into pure ref. We then have these little handles where we can move, scale these around, left click and drag. Uh, we can expand our window if we need to. Let's keep grabbing our images and I'm just throwing them in there. I don't really care if they are on top of each other at this point. Great, great, great. Great muzzle device. I'm going to left click and drag to highlight everything. Then right click, go to images. First of all, I'm going to go to arrange optimal. So let's spread those out. That's nice. You could also do this manually if you'd prefer. And then right click images. Let's normalize the size. So now they're all roughly the same size, which may or may not be what you want. And then really, if I wanted to, I could come over here, right click. It's arrange optimal. I can right click. I can go to save, save as. We're going to throw this into my pure ref folder that I've created on my desktop. There, I have saved this and that means the next time, you know, I'm working on my project, doing whatever I want, I can open up pure ref, go to right click, open, recent. There's my files. Everything is good to go and I can continue working on my dream gun.